This is for the Yoon of MMA 145 pound championship title. Let's welcome the first fighter, Chris Bonilla. It's time here for the first ever University of MMA championship bout for the 145 pound featherweight title tonight. We're gonna have Chris Bonilla versus gorgeous Georgie Garcia. Coming to the cage right now in the red corner, Chris Bonilla. The 24-year-old stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He's an orthodox fighter with an amateur record of five wins and two losses. His hometown's Arleta, California. Training with Boss Rutan's elite MMA. He has a background in kickboxing, wrestling, and jujitsu. That five and two record. Only one win and two losses in his three last fights. His last loss, a unanimous decision against Francisco Castro, but all of his remaining six fights were finished. He himself has four wins by submission, all in round one and round two, one TKO win, and only one time has he been finished, a second round submission against Alan Francis Perez. His last five fights were in the Camo State Tournament from 2010 and 2011, where a lot of the best amateurs in California get to try themselves against each other. He started training in January of 2010. He says, I was getting into fights anyways, might as well do it the right way. On his opponent tonight, Chris Bonilla says, I'm just a better fighter than him. That's all it comes down to. It's my time, not his. Chris predicts he's gonna have a finish before the third round. Says we should look for a guillotine or right uppercuts. This is an exciting night for the first featherweight title here at the U of MMA. On his way to the cage, gorgeous Georgie Garcia. You can hear the cheers from the crowd here for gorgeous Georgie Garcia. One of the main stars here at the U. All three of his wins coming here in the U of MMA. His first fight, April 17th, 2011, a unanimous decision against Arash Nader Shahi. In July 24th of 11, a majority decision win against Michael Reyes. And then on our salute to the troops here on 9-11 of this last year, a second round TKO against Daniel Garcia. He holds the current record for the most wins at the U of MMA. He is fighting under Saxon's Muay Thai and 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu out in Van Nuys where he's a blue belt under coach Alder Hample. Plans tonight to use his striking to set up his takedowns. Alder says, think Frankie Edgar. He'll make you worry about going up and down. It's gonna be all about level changes tonight. Garcia is known for having great submission escapes. One thing his coach does say though, is he needs to improve his slow jujitsu game, be more comfortable controlling positions in the past. Georgie Garcia has been very happy with scrambling. He's very good at scrambling, but tends to rely on it too much. His plan tonight is to find his rhythm. His coach says that we have not seen the best of Georgie Garcia. We're at three and oh, how much better can it get? He's a young guy, he can go much, much better. And you know, he's holding the record right now, but the organization is young, the fighter is young, so gonna have a good future. Both fighters here, young men, Georgie Garcia at 21 years of age, Chris Benia just three years his elder at 24. Both guys have fairly well decorated records. You know, I think we might have a potential fight of the night on our hands. Georgie Mars Garcia may also be in the running now, uh, challenging for cheesiest entrance song of the night. <laughs> Hear the cheers of Georgie from the crowd. Ready to introduce our fight, Sal Ariano. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is the main event of the evening. This next fight is brought to you by WSS Shoes Style Selection and Bodybuilding.com. This fight is scheduled for three two-minute rounds for the University of Mixed Martial Arts 145-pound championship title. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. He comes to the cage with a record of five wins and two losses, with one win coming by way of knockout, four wins coming by way of submission. He stands at five feet, 10 inches tall, and winning at 145.4 pounds, representing Boss Rudin's elite MMA. Standing at five feet, five inches tall. 
Okay, guys, we bent over the rules in the back. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to obey my commands at all times. And I want you to protect yourself at all times. Got any questions from the red corner? Any questions from the blues? Touch them up. Let's fight. For the man in charge of the action, Ed Eckert. You have MMA matchmaker Jay Tan showing off the brand new featherweight championship belt. Here tonight, we're going to crown the first ever University of MMA champion here at 145 pounds. In the red corner, Chris Bonilla, blue corner, gorgeous Georgie Garcia. Here we go. Georgie, very light on his feet as always. A quick fighter, lots of energy. Bonilla using that jab early, trying to establish his distance. Big overhand from Chris Bonilla. Georgie ducks under for a single leg, but Chris has a good job of defending. Georgie trying to turn that one over. Chris trying to grab a leg, not really sure where he's going with it, but does a good job of turning around. Now Chris, threatening triangle here if he can just get that left leg free. Now Chris has that triangle secure. Needs to get that arm across the front though. Without, without that arm across, that's not much of a tight choke. Now he goes trying to put it across. Chris pulling on the back of Georgie Garcia's head. This could be a very early finish. Georgie though, answering the phone, doing the right technique to defend. George has to keep his head up, work on his posture because otherwise he's in a lot of trouble. Chris Benilla here tries to switch to the arm bar but keeps holding on in the triangle. Georgie Garcia looking to defend the triangle. Chris Bonilla now switching that for the arm bar. Georgie Garcia though looks like he's about to escape and he does. Now it's Georgie's turn to operate from top side control. They were close though, it was close. But he stays on top. And that's what he needs to do. He needs to stay on top, be heavy. And now Georgie Garcia looks like he's going for an arm and guillotine possibly. You know, one thing Alder Hample told us beforehand was that his student, Georgie Garcia, has really great submission escapes, and we've already seen that tonight. Just two. Just the triangle and the armbar. Get back on the feet. Chris Bonilla pressing in. Georgie with a really wonderful takedown. Nice arm drag. Yes, there was a lot of action this round. You know, if there's one thing you can say about these 145-pound fighters, they don't leave you bored. No, absolutely not. There was a lot of action uh, from both fighters, but I think that in this round, Chris Bonilla had a little bit of an edge because he was so close to finishing this fight with a triangle, and after that, the armbar. Chris Bonilla very effective with that aggressive attack. Even when he wasn't controlling that submission game, he was still looking to move into an attacking position, not content to let himself be in any bad positions himself. Georgie Garcia spent a bit of time in top side control, but did, wasn't able to do much with it. No, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't in the best position. He uh, didn't have a lot of pressure and allowed Chris Benilla to stand back up. You know, having seen all three of Georgie's fights thus far, this is the most danger we've seen him in here at the U. Well, we have more rounds coming here in this championship bout. Chris Benilla in the red corner, Georgie Garcia in the blue corner, round two coming your way. Georgie ducks under, goes to the body. Oh, a big overhand right drops Chris Benilla. Georgie Garcia pounces, throwing big blows from the top, trying to take advantage of the currently rock Chris Benilla. Benilla though doing his best to control the posture of Georgie Garcia. He's doing a good job there. He's holding him down and he buys himself some time to recover and he's even attacking right now. And very quickly, Chris Benilla turns a very bad position, a very bad situation into a situation where now he could turn this into an attack. Georgie Garcia trying to drive his head to the mat. Succeeds in getting out of that guillotine attempt. Chris Benilla shows that he's very comfortable from his back with that guard. That guillotine's a very low percentage move. Even guys who have great guillotines don't tend to finish with it as often as they'd like. Georgie Garcia sticking to his game plan, staying tight here with the wrestling, not giving Chris Benilla a chance to get himself set when he gets back to his feet. Benilla now diving under for a Kimura. 
uses it to sweep. Wow, what a beautiful technique. Now Bonilla sending it up, trying to free that arm so he can crank it for the submission. Bonilla very dominant now with the submission attacks. Keeps it taking for all kinds of angles. Bonilla has been very aggressive with the submissions, but you got to say at this point, you know, it's kind of a tough round to score. You could say that Georgie Garcia is winning with that big overhand right and the takedowns, but then again, Benia has been putting him in bad positions. Yes, constantly, constantly. It's one big scramble at this moment. Georgie Garcia holding onto those legs, now jumping onto the back here of Chris Benia. Georgie trying to throw in the choke here, but with eight seconds left, doesn't have it secured yet. Looks like Benia should get out of the round without too much trouble. And he ran out of time. You know, you gotta look at those judges thinking that with Georgie Garcia ending the round on top, that could play very heavily. George Garcia, he started the round and he finished the round. But in between, it was Chris Bonilla with all the submission attacks. Well, that's what they say in comedy. You open strong, you close strong. People don't remember what you do in the middle. Yes. Getting a nice look here at our ring girls. Catherine Voorhees here, and our other ring girl, Emma Danoff, making sure that we know it's about to be round number three, because honestly, I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for them. <laughs> so much going on in this fight. A great fight so far. Guns and Roses, welcome to the jungle plane right now, and honestly, that's appropriate. These two guys finding themselves deep in the jungle of this fight. I can't believe I just did that, but I'll own up to it. <laughs> Round number three coming here in this featherweight title bout between Chris Bonilla and gorgeous Georgie Garcia. You gotta think that it's all up in the air right now. <laughs> Bonilla outside leg kick. I mean Garcia. Garcia jumps for a flying knee. Pays for it with a big slam by Georgie Garcia. It was a great counter from Georgie Garcia. He picked him up, but this Benilla was already in the air. Beautiful slam. Benilla looks like he's trying to isolate the neck for a guillotine attempt. Looking to get his hands together. Hasn't been able to succeed so far. Georgie Garcia doing a good job of staying tight and not giving Benilla room to get those hands together. You can complete that from half guard, a little bit more difficult, but it can be done. Very difficult, though. And Georgie Garcia does a nice job of passing the side control. Bonilla, though, not staying content, working his way back to his feet. Bonilla's been very good so far at escaping from these bad positions. But you gotta think that that persistent wrestling on, from Georgie Garcia is taking its toll. Yes, Garcia is a little bit better positions. Um, his danger is there, but Benilla feels comfortable on the ground. Garcia dives in again, trying to take that single leg. Garcia's hands are like glue. As soon as he touches your leg, it's not going anywhere. I guess we'll see the back right here. He has one leg. Georgie Garcia trying to work Benilla onto the mat. But Benilla trying to make him pay for it on the way down. Benilla trying to set up a Kimura as he gets taken down. Garcia listening to his coaches right there in his corner with Alder Hempel. The clacker signifying 10 seconds left. Not much is going to change here. Georgie Garcia trying to punch his way to the bell. And that's it. A really solid performance from both fighters. But you got to think that Georgie made a better impression there in that second and definitely in that third round. He had the takedown, so usually that weighs very heavy in, uh, in MMA. Um, he got a few times in trouble with submission attempts, but he fought his way through and he had a bit of precision. He passed the guard a few times, got out all the submission attempts, and I think was a little bit more dangerous with the striking as well. I would say that last round definitely for Georgie Garcia. Now that round could be the deciding factor. It'll be interesting to see. We have seen some decisions tonight where I looked at the judges were taking into account the striking of the man who is in the defensive position. So that could be an interesting attack. Yes. In, uh, overall in this fight, Georgia Garcia was a little bit more aggressive with the striking, uh, landed a few times and went more for the takedowns. On the ground, I think it was Chris Benilla, a little bit more dangerous. 
but wasn't successful with the submission attempts. Well, you know, Chris Benilla had those submission attempts and some striking from defensive positions. But you got to think of when judges are looking at that big, those big slam takedowns from Georgie Garcia, that massive overhand right that dropped Benilla in the second round. You know, I'm not sure Benilla recovered entirely from that big overhand right. Yeah, that's tough to deal with, and especially with this pace. You have no time to recover. Yeah, with a, with a pace like Georgie Garcia, you get punched, you're going, come on, please, just let me get my head together. And then you're getting slammed on the floor. Ugh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Judge Ron McCarthy scores a fight, 29 to 28. Judge Mike Bell scores a fight, 29.5 to 28. Judge John McCarthy scores a fight, 29 to 28 for the winner and a new 145 pound University of Mixed Martial Arts champion out of the blue corner, gorgeous Georgie Garcia. Big win tonight for 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu and Georgie Garcia, your first U of MMA featherweight champion here with our post fight interviews, Donna Gonzalez. Feels great, it feels really good. This is what I've been wanting since I first started training. This is what I would want when I first started training. You know, and to finally be here, you know, a couple years back, I, that's, this is all I dreamed of. You know, and now, now, I'm, now I'm living my dream. Thank you. Beautifully fought fight, George. Is there anything you want to say to all your friends? Yes, I want to say thank you to everybody that came out and supported me. Saxon's Muay Thai, 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu, San Fernando Wrestling. I know there was a special shout out I want to give to my best friend, Sarah Sines. I want to say I love you with all my heart. Thank you. Gorgeous Georgie Garcia, your champion here at the University of MMA. There you go, your first ever University of MMA featherweight champion, gorgeous Georgie Garcia.